So I've had a lot of response from students that I taught at Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, one of them used to work at Vanity Fair as an assistant editor, and uh, she's now with Time Magazine. So she, uh, she wanted to know if there was anything she could do. Um, thank you, Fifi. Uh, yeah, you can write a letter <laughs> to President Obama and President Stanley and Tim Bishop and uh, Ken Lavelle, Chuck Schumer, and Fred Thiel. Um, we met with Fred, Fred Thiel yesterday. My students did, and, um, and that was... Uh, yeah, he's really going to fight for us, which is great. And I came home the other night um, after my bad hair day video, went up on YouTube, and one of my students, who's a fashion stylist in New York, called, had called, and uh, said, Heather, are you okay? I'm so worried about you. And um, so I called him back, and I said, "Ugh, I needed you to style me. And he said, no, Lady Gaga pays so much money to get her hair to look just like that. <laughs> I like that. So, Lady Gaga, if you want my, you know, I need a new job if you want me to style your hair. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I want to run over our on our Facebook. Um, you can find us on Safe Soon Stony Brook University Southampton campus on Facebook. Um, we now have 7,923 fans as of 7.30 this morning. And on our petition, which you can find on Facebook, but it is also at petitionspot.com, petitions, uh, backslash petitions, backslash save SBS. We have uh, 1,773 people who have signed the petition. And um, our goal is 50,000. So what I want to remind you as a watcher of this video is that in order to go viral, we need you to share this on Facebook and Twitter. We need your help to get uh, the word out there. And the way that happens is by you, um, you sharing us and your friends sharing us and their friends sharing us and so on and so on and so on. And that's how you go viral. You don't just watch it and shut it. You don't just, you know, walk away from it. You have to pass it on. Um, it's just like love. If you don't pass it on, it doesn't go anywhere. So let's not drop out on our students on education. Um, <laughs> that's a college dropout saying that. I dropped out of college three times. Um, hmm. So, uh, so help us go viral, please. We really need, uh, we need uh, this country to be aware that um, the education system is uh, not on the chopping block. You know, this is not the French Revolution. You don't get to line us up uh, in a guillotine. And I tell you, that's about how it feels. I was talking to one of my colleagues last night, and. Uh, it's feeling a bit like, uh, you know, uh, at least for us, because we're losing our jobs and we're being told, oh, you know, don't make waves. You're just going to go to West Campus. You're going to be fine. Well, that means that next year I'm out of a job. They're not going to hire me again at West Campus. I don't have a Ph.D. Composition and rhetoric is not my strong point, and there's no creative writing program up there for me to teach at. My strength, my core curriculum is creative writing and social justice. That's what I do. I teach advocacy and writing, and, uh, and they don't have a place for me up there. So that means next year I'm going to lose my job. So if I don't rage, rage against the dying light, nobody's going to pay any attention to me next year, right? It'll be over. And um, so I have to do this fight. I have to fight this fight now. <sighs> and that said, um, I need you to help me fight this fight. Uh, it is not about me. It is not just about my students. It's about the whole country's education system. Why is it that we can save the banks and not the colleges and not the high schools? We're going to have a nation of idiots. Um, how, we practically do now because of, you know, no child left behind. Let's teach to the test. Can we fill out a box? Uh, multiple choice, which is not how life is. Life is not multiple choice. 